This fine silver painting powder for enamel is to be used with vitreous enamel. And um, I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg, but there's so many applications for this product. Um, here you can see that I laid it down on some vitreous enamel and fired it in and then put some transparent enamel over top it. Um, here are just some kind of loose sort of like silver sketches on enamel. And here I used it to um, outline an enameled pattern. So there are lots of different ways that this fine silver painting powder for enamel can be used, and today I'm just going to be offering a general overview of how to mix it and apply it. This fine silver painting powder comes in a little container, and there's um, plenty in here for lots and lots of applications. A little bit goes a very long way. Um, so I usually just scoop out some with a mini palette knife here and apply it to your palette. Today I'm working on a tile. And then it comes with some included lavender oil and you're going to mix that into the fine silver powder until the viscosity of something similar to like a rather thin acrylic has been achieved. Um, you don't want it to really hold a texture, but you also don't want it to be so thin that it's beginning to look um, translucent or um, not opaque. So that looks good. And um, it's kind of hard to mix up just a teeny tiny batch, um, but you will be able to, I'll cover this later, you're able to um, reuse this several times. So um, for applying this fine silver painting powder, you want to apply it to a previously fused layer of enamel. Um, and like anything else with enameling, you want to make sure that this is clean and grease free. So I've got a fused layer of enamel here and I'm just going to be demonstrating painting. Um, if you want to load it up in a pen with a nib, you can do that. Um, again, there's so many different ways that you can take this product. Um, I'm just kind of showing you generally uh, how it's used. Um, so you could paint anything. Um, I'm kind of lately been interested in just these sort of fluid flowing lines. Um, usually one coat like that is good. Um, you can kind of see here where my brush got a little, um, I needed to reload it maybe. So I'm just going to go over that line. But, you know, you can do absolutely anything with this material. As long as you're fusing it into some vitreous enamel. So just some general lines here. So when you're happy with your design, um, if you're unhappy and it's dried, um, it's easy to clean it up with um, like a clay shaper or a damp Q-tip. Um, you can scrape away and clean it that way as well to kind of refine your design. Um, but you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you fire it. Uh, and an easy way to kind of tell if it's dry, um, here's a sample I did earlier, there's a color change. It's going to be much more light in color when it's dried. Once it is dry, you're going to be firing it in your kiln set to 1400 degrees. And um, what you're looking for when you're firing it is for the enamel layer beneath it to re-vitrify and refuse to accept the silver that you've laid over top it. Um, so that might vary a little bit depending on the color and type of enamel that you're using, um, but you just want to refuse that enamel to accept the silver. So I'm going to take that off and do that now. So as I said before, it's kind of difficult to mix just like a tiny amount, um, but that's okay because you can reuse this. Uh, you can either, if you have like a designated palette, like this tile is where this silver is gonna live forever. Um, I don't wanna use it for something else. It's fine that this is gonna sit occupied until I want it again. Um, you can let it dry out completely and just let it sit until you're ready to use it again. Um, and then you can just re-add lavender oil to it directly, mix it in, and it's ready to go over and over and over as many times as you want to reuse this product. Um, alternately, if you want your tile back and you're ready to move on, um, I find that it's kind of hard to scrape and reclaim because it is so fine and thin um, while it's wet. So allow it to dry, and then at that point, you can scrape it off the tile and move it directly back into your container and save it for another use. So my fine silver painting powder has been fired in and my enamel has cooled enough that I can comfortably touch it. 
At this point, I'm ready to um, bring the applied silver up to a shine. And to do that, you wanna use something that is not abrasive because obviously you don't want to scratch up um, the surface of your enamel or remove any of the silver. So I've got a flash shiner here um, and I'm starting with the darker side and I'm just pushing it across. You can already see it's starting to look a little more metallic and not that kind of fresh kiln white. And then I'm gonna flip it over to the white side to really bring things up to a polish. And you can kind of see the difference there between just the fresh kiln white and the um, more polished finished looking silver. What I've shown you today is just the tip of the iceberg. This fine silver painting powder has so much potential for adding fine silver accents to enamel. I'm really excited to see what you guys all end up doing with it. And I've been recently moving forward with it by combining it with enamel that's inset into rings. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope you'll enjoy it too.